Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and today I'm actually here to say thank you. Thank you to everybody who has watched, liked, subscribed, or really just participated, commented on any of the videos that have been released under the University of Trials. You are the reason why we have hit 1 million views. So, as I guess a little bit of a treat for, and maybe a you know, refresher for people that have been around for a while, but for all the new students, some of this content may be new, uh, there's a couple of clips in here that have never been released before, so I suggest you sit back, get comfortable, and watch my little take on the history of the University of Trials. Okay, this is a video for Mark, um, basically trying to give you a bit of a video tutorial on the last Trials HD track, uh, Inferno 2. I'll basically try and break down the track checkpoint by checkpoint, just to give you a bit of an instruction about how to get over each obstacle. If you can find a way that's consistent to get over each obstacle, uh, you'll, you'll have to be able to finish the track. Body weight forward here, and essentially you want to do a backflip off this uh, pole to get it out of the way, and it actually becomes a driving line that you, drive, you go on in a second. Earlier this year, Fat Shady Live released his video revealing the solution to the Trials HD riddle. As thanks, we brought him to Finland to experience Red Link's first hand. G'day guys, Fat Shady here. I'm here in Sydney, as you can see right now, on a beautiful day. Uh, the guys from Red Link Star have asked me to come over and have a chat to them, so I'm going to go over to Finland now. I'm about to go home, pack my bags, jump on a plane, and uh, travel about 15,000 kilometers, but I'm going to be over there and see them in a couple of days. So I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Two flights and a whole day later, Fat Shady found himself in Helsinki. Now, it was time to welcome him to the world of Red Links. Here's the design room. Yep, he's working at the moment. Oh, no! So, here's yeah. the resting mat. This is the one I've got to drop. What? I don't have any techniques, so... From our world-class Australian campus, our passionate lecturers are able to educate trials writers from all over the world. Are you ready to learn? Welcome to the University of Trials. Founded in 2012, the University of Trials was established with the goal of becoming the world leader in trials education. From our head offices in Sydney, Australia, Sydney, Australia we reach a global audience through our internationally recognised curriculum. I get the impression from a few people watching this right now that you don't think the University of Trials is real. I assure you, it's as real as the pipe in my hand. Now let's go and have a look at the campus. Have a look. This is the University of Trials. I'd like to welcome you all to the first class of 2013. My name is Professor Fat Shady, and I'm going to be here all semester providing you with tips, tricks, coaching, mentoring with regards to Trials Evolution. You ready to learn? Let's go check out today's lessons. There's a huge amount of bikes that are available to you in Trials Evolution. And one of the easiest things you can do... Yeah, I like that. Professor speak. Trials Evolution. Just the same For the first semester... Yes. Wires out of the way. Costumes on. Sweating. While this course is aimed at... Yes. To be the best... Ro As we... We will be shearing... Shearing? What the f***? She is a sheep. Who, who in the truck? From our world-class Australian campus, our passionate lecturers are able to educate trials writers from all over the world. Are you ready to learn? Ubisoft needs me! That's right students, earlier this year Ubisoft reached out to me and asked if I'd like to attend E3 as a trials representative and a Uplay ambassador. This was said to be a trip of a lifetime and I couldn't wait to get over there. So I got home as quick as I could, packed my bag, jumped on the first flight available, and before you know it, I was in downtown Los Angeles, waiting for the Ubisoft press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to E3. So I want to talk to first some lucky Uplay members that are joining us from around the world, so let's invite them on. So where are you from, and what's your name? Fat Shady from Sydney, Australia. During my stay, I was sure to meet some absolutely amazing people, and I cherished every moment of it. But the reason I was there was for the Ubisoft press conference. Little did I know that I would have a front row seat and have the full VIP treatment and get another amazing surprise in the announcement of two brand new Trials games. Hey guys, 
guys, Professor Facchetti from the University of Trials here. We're here in Los Angeles at E3, and we're about to go in and have a chat with some of the guys from Red Links, talk about some of the new Trials games, and also get them to give you some pointers on Trials Evolution. So what I wanted to do for some of the students at the University of Trials was maybe uh, ask you if there's any particular technique that you maybe we haven't covered in the series so far, and you think that would be good for me to teach to some of the students. Uh, maybe one thing that comes into mind is the thing that when you're going towards the ramp, yeah. you don't have to jump up. You can lift the front wheel and tilt it forward in a way that the bike kind of, it's not going forward, it's kind of going just direct instead there's a ramp. Okay, now... Yeah. For example, if I... <laughs> Alright, okay. yes. Okay. This is important. Now oh, yes. this is the bike, okay. and the bike normally jumps like this. So you can do it like this. So one last thing that I probably should ask then, seeing as though you want us to teach people about this technique, what is the name for that jump? I have no clue. No, you, you should be able to name this. What would you call it? Uh, ram, ram front wheel jump. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll learn that one right now. Well, after that explanation, I guess you can see why they've got me to do the University of Trials. I feel like I'm being watched. Nah, I'm nah. Watched. It's not even on. It's not a camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, because what's that? Oh, blind. Basically, your name and position to start with. Right. Uh, Lee Rowland, senior level designer, trial series. Excellent. Uh, so, did they give you that title to make you feel more important, or you're actually good? No, I actually <laughs> bought it. <laughs> Yeah, I bought it on eBay. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Senior level designer. I was trying to go for a specialist level designer, but it went to like 10 euros. It's not worth 10 euros. <laughs> That's fine. I actually got Professor Fat Shady in the exact same really? way. Really? Wow, cool. <laughs> what, the Fat Shady bit or Professor? You both, actually. <laughs> it was like 15 euros. It was like a two for one special <laughs> add-on. Yeah. That's not bad. It worked out pretty well. Hello, or as they say here, moi. I'm Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and I'm in disguise. I'm trying to sneak into the Red Links offices, so I've come all the way to Helsinki, Finland. I'm going to try and get in there and get you some exclusive information on Trials Fusion. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. I did some research when I was back in Australia to try and figure out whereabouts the Red Links office was going to be, and I believe this is it. I think the biggest problem I'm going to have is the security. This looks pretty high tech. I'm going to try and get across there now and see if I can break in. Let's go. Hey, I think this is the place. Let's do this. There's cameras. Okay, it's going to be tricky. Lucky I'm wearing a disguise. I'm going to see if I can break. Oh, there's people coming. Let's I'll just wait here. Not for long. Okay, I don't think I need this. Okay. Just act natural. Ah. Uh oh, there must be security. Damn it. My first hurdle. I just told them I was in a reporter from Australia and they let me in. So I decided I'm going to try and hide in plain sight. Let's go. They won't suspect a thing. I 
don't think anybody saw me on the way in. But this, this is what I'm here to see. Trials Fusion. Time to leave. Uh, we're just here at the top of the show talking about what we're playing. You, what are you playing? I have gotten bit yet again by the trials bug. Uh, I actually last night i I had the best run I've ever had on an extreme track. Uh, in the the Did last, you finish it? <laughs> close, but so <laughs> it's kind of binary. I, I'm getting there. Uh, so the last DLC that came out, Welcome to the Abyss, came out maybe a month or so ago. Yes, but. October was nuts. I really didn't have any time to play it. Uh, so I just tried it for the first time yesterday. Okay. Uh, and I, f- I was struggling with it, but it's supposedly the Deluge, the last track in this pack, is supposedly the easiest of all the extreme tracks they've made for Fusion. It's okay. still really hard, but it's easier than all the others. Uh, and I was struggling with it, and then uh, universe, or Uni of Trials on Twitter... Uh, it's a guy who does uh, Trials Fusion tutorials. Links me to his Deluge tutorial on YouTube. And I watch part of it, and, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And I hop in there, and all of a sudden I'm getting through checkpoints. I had never before gotten through uh, so more than checkpoint. one checkpoint on an extreme track. So you use this thing called the Internet to help you through a video game. Yes. Okay. It's amazing. What a, well, that's, a, that's an awesome who, idea. Who knew that they had tutorials on YouTube? Wow. Um, no, but this was actually a really well explained tutorial. Uh, so I made it through six checkpoints, uh, about two thirds of the way through the course, which I was super excited about. So I cannot wait to uh, go try that again. I did uh, eventually die, die because I used up all 500 faults, um, but it felt awesome to actually, for the first time, feel like I have a shot at an extreme track. I've never felt that before. I picked up Trials at E3 before it came out, before the summer of arcade, when yep. Trials HD was coming out. And I, I sat down and started playing this, and then it, I looked up and an hour had passed. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. And like, uh, Taro, who worked at Red yeah, Links, he yeah. was like, um, yeah, other people want to play it. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> and so, and then when it came out, I was like, oh my god. Like, it's one of those things where like, some people can sit down at a piano and they just understand it. You yeah. know, like they get it. Trials is a kind of game where I kind of sat down in front of it. And it's like I get this. Like I can play this game. Here's out a little bit more. There I, you go. I was I was planning <laughs> on doing the rest of the interview like this. If that's all right with you. If you want, if you can talk through that, go no, for it, man. It's, it's way too no. easy. No. All right. Next thing I want to talk about. Uh, probably proudest achievement. That's always another one. People tend to be very passionate when they've done something that they're super proud about. Okay. What's yours? Uh, what, what, what's the name of the achievement to get all the challenges in Trials Fusion? Oh, the, uh, all, the one with all the first eight. Yeah, the, the first eight to get yeah, all... Yeah, yeah. Whatever the name of that achievement yeah. is. Like, that's one that I'm like, yeah. not many people are going to get that achievement. Because that's Great. a really, really damn hard achievement. And it took me three months to get. And is, so it's is like... Now the, is now the right time to say I haven't got that yet? Oh, you haven't <laughs> got it yet? Uh, which one George, are you stuck on? Well, none. This is the funny thing. I've got Pipe Phobia. I've got Top Roach. Okay, which Top arguably, Roach. Yeah, Jesus yeah, yeah. Christ, Top Roach. Arguably the two of the hardest ones out of the lot. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't gone back and got some of the easy ones. So I've really? probably got 20 or 30 left. 
purely through time. Wow. So, all right. Okay. I, I, gotta, will, make, you, I will make that you, pledge yeah, to you, but I will that. get that achievement right. for you. All right. Yeah, if you've done Pipe Phobia, I got lucky with Pipe Phobia. It yeah. only took me like a day to get that one. And yeah. it was just like playing, and I somehow I managed to get over the, the first three are like the tricky ones. And, yep. that, like, and then that last like up the hill one, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it has, but it I, I managed to get it, and it was like, all right, it just worked out perfectly. So, yeah, yeah. and yeah. Um, now, Top Roach, I want to talk to you about real quick. Oh, Jesus. Because simply no, simply because. bad memory. A little birdie, who is probably you on YouTube, but a little birdie told me that you may have actually used one of my videos to get help Oh, absolutely. On I absolutely used one of your videos to get help on that. <laughs> so they get past that rage to suppress it until it just explodes at some you point. You don't but... need to suppress. Let it out. Well, no. Well, I, I usually play when a whole bunch of my family sleeping. So, letting it is not a, not a good like option. anger management. Yeah, yeah. Similar, I think you were holding a fart and you don't let it out. <laughs> it's just like... I'm gonna go over here now. Yeah. No, he's not talking about courage. He just lets it all go. You're just just like letting it all go. If if, if holding a fart is on his mind, (laughs) (laughs) he's just like, come and stay over here. No, I just. (laughs) It was a good analogy. I made the metaphor. Yes. This was. (laughs) Analogue. <laughs> that was great. All right, we want to play another game. Yes. Uh, this is gonna be. We're gonna have. We're gonna have. We do. We have some plenty of requests okay. for some uh, extreme tracks. So we're gonna play through one last multiplayer thing. All then right. Fat Shady's gonna tackle some oh, extreme okay. challenges. Don't mention You're just tackling really near Auntie. Because <laughs> he will oh, just. True. He will just take that's a true. camera Key out words or something. Not to say around the finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I've I've learned this. I've wrestled with Auntie. I I lost. Really. Really. We actually yeah. are getting quite a few requests for wrestling in the chat. <laughs> well. They, I hope People uh, are just sick. Oh my gosh. What? what did you do on set things? He doesn't know how to <laughs> play with the writer. in a way that is like this. <laughs> is it reverse? I don't think it's... I don't, I, I, you I, put I, the <laughs> gravity in zero or something like that. Gravity zero. Oh. If you oh heavy, <laughs> <laughs> this happens when the game master don't know the rules. Like, oh, Listen. See, you can make the specs heavy oh. you want. You can make them absolutely impossibly oh. retarded. You, you put the more gravity, right? <laughs> Maybe just up the gravity a little. I put like 200% gravity. <laughs> okay, and like, nice. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, it's oh. so heavy. Oh. Oh. Salut à tous. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. Salut. 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 Salut à tous. Salut à tous. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Je m'appelle Professor Fat Shady, and that's all the French that I know. I'm here with ABZ Magic. Yeah. 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 From the French community. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's see. I edit, and here's a metal plate. Yep. Oh. Okay. And then now, let's see. Like, and now let's there's pretend. a cat. Let's, Ding. Let's, 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 <laughs> Look, there's a cat follows mine. <laughs> and then I'm I can let, I, I can make his head look like koala. Koala. <laughs> and <laughs> kangaroo. Look, and my head to. Most handsome man in universe. Ding! <laughs> and I'm you, sorry. You know, I know, gonna... I'm just kidding. Like, I'm, oh. I'm already gonna tell you, I'm gonna put my face on the top of that. Yeah. Rather than just clearing a gap, the big bunny hop requires you to jump up to a higher level. What I found interesting about the way they did this in real life is a level of control. Now have a look at the front wheel here. You can actually see they position themselves at the front wheel on the start of the platform and then get their body weight in the right position to make it up to the next level i got to say that looks way harder in real life than it does in the game. Fapping is a technique to help you get up onto high ledges. When your front wheel is in the right position, hold the accelerator and as fast as you can tap the brake. In the game what this does is generates a little bit of rotational momentum and helps you get up to a higher platform. And I was curious to see if this translated into real life. Unfortunately, due to a slight misunderstanding, it didn't exactly go to plan. Dude, not like that! Hi, I'm Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials. You may remember me from such educational films as Faults, They're Not Your Fault, and How to Use Your Face as a Third Wheel. If you're anything like me, you love Trials Fusion. And it's not just for the crazy explosions and the challenging gameplay. It's that quest to be better than yourself and your friends. So I decided to go for a ride, really clear my head and think about the best way to interact with this awesome Trials community. And then it hit me. Why don't I have a competition? Now this is a Christmas special edition. I said this in the uh, the intro video that I was going to make this a bit special. So without further ado, we're going to have fun. This is something very close to my heart. And for anyone that's known me for a little while and known a lot about the sort of trials community, you would have heard about uh, some of the riddles and some of the secrets that are hidden within these games. Um, a lot of the people watching this, I suspect, may not currently know about all of that history so I wanted to just talk about this particular achievement the fifth key but unlike most videos which are just a achievement guide 
I kind of want to start to allude and start to give you some information about why this is important. So there you have it. In about three years, you've seen that we've been able to do a huge amount of stuff on this channel, and I'm excited for all of the different things that I've got planned uh, coming up for 2016 and beyond. So make sure you stick around, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.